good morning everyone it's another beautiful day in bali i am outside trying a new coffee shop this morning no coffee at the beach because i'm training my client anthony soon so i don't have time to go to the beach i'm just getting a quick coffee here some quick power i met my train with him uh, today I'm feeling not a hundred percent, but but nearly, nearly a hundred percent. I'm still a bit of a sniffly nose, but apart from that, I feel quite good. So we're going to get back on the diet today. Uh, this morning I was. Watch it, please. Thank you. You want to come and get a coffee, sir? Right. I have like two minutes to drink this, which is not a problem because I drink coffee extremely fast. Oh yeah, this is good coffee. Mm. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what was I saying? Uh, this morning I weighed 103. I think it was 103. Um, the goal is to weigh, I'd say about 96 kg. I would say that's the goal. If I could just lose, this might be a little bit optimistic. But yeah, if I was 96 kg and most of that was fat, I think I would, that would definitely be the best shape I've ever been in. So that's the goal. I'm going to do a 10 day protocol i might be longer i'm not going to put a time limit on it but i'll talk you through my protocol later this is extreme fat loss protocol okay i do not recommend that you do this i don't have my clients do this unless they really want to which uh, i wouldn't recommend to be honest it's not a good idea to to uh crush diet and cut really hard so you might be wondering well why am i doing it well I also want to show you like people like fast results you know and to do like a daily vlog like i'm doing uh and you know the progress is extremely small well then it's quite boring but if the progress is fast then it's probably more interesting for you guys so not only that for me personally my kind of personality um, I just find it easier to stick to something if I'm seeing results fast, even if that means that I have to suffer more. Now, the fact I've just been ill was because I already did this like last week or the week before, I cut too hard and got ill. Now that I've been ill, my logic is telling me that, well, you've been ill, so you're not going to get ill again. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'll talk you through that in a bit. I am going to enjoy the rest of this. And then I've got to get going. So, see you in a bit. Today is Monday. So, Mondays is a very busy day for me because I do all my client check ins on a Monday, check in with every single one of my clients, just touch base, see if they need any uh, updates to their plan or need any words of encouragement or see if I can help them out at all. So, yeah, on top of that, I've got a videographer, a new videographer starting today as well. So we're going to get him trained up and we're starting the diet today. Speaking of which, I've just got back from the store and I'm going to talk about the first part of this, um, let's call it tropical fat loss protocol. I don't know. I'll come up with a better name. It'll probably be in the title. So the first part of this protocol is fruit. Right, so I have a golden melon, I have a watermelon, right, and I have a papaya. So the goal is for the for until dinner, all I'm gonna have is fruit, right? So I want about 500 calories no more than 500 calories of fruit and then i'm just going to have one meal at dinner where i'm going to get my protein in all right so 
I don't know how many calories are here. I'm going to weigh this out and make sure I don't go over 500. Um, but why fruit? Well, first of all, these foods are local to where I live and food contains information. And the more local and seasonal you can eat, uh, the better it's going to be for your health. That's the first point. Second point is it's carbohydrates. Uh, carbohydrates are hydrating, hence the name carbohydrates. Uh, so it's going to make sure I'm going to be hydrated throughout the day. I'll also add some high quality sea salt on, to, on top of this fruit as well. So it'll make sure I'm staying hydrated. Obviously, living in Bali, it's hot, uh, training outside, sweating. Hydration is key. Uh, third point uh, with it being carbohydrates is it's going to be stimulating for my metabolism. So I want to make sure throughout this cut uh, and this diet that uh, my metabolism stays high. Um, I've not tried this protocol before, by the way. This is just an experiment. You can see how it works out for me. If you live, if you don't live where I live or you don't live in the tropics, I maybe wouldn't do this. Like say if you live uh, somewhere in like the northern hemisphere, or you, you live at a higher, is it latitude? Um, where during the winter where you don't have many fruits available, I wouldn't do this, to be honest. I'd make sure you're eating seasonal and local, local but I am. So, yeah. Um, carbohydrates, it's going to be stimulating for my metabolism. Also, it's quite filling, you know, like this is going to take up quite a bit of space in my stomach but it's not very calorie dense. So it's gonna make sure my stomach is full as well. I do need to be careful with fruit because sometimes you eat too much fruit, it can make you feel bloated and your stomach can stick out, which I wanna bring my stomach and my waist in as much as possible for aesthetics reasons, obviously. But um, ever since I started doing the oxygen therapy, which I've talked about before, which I won't go into, uh, my digestion has been a lot better, to be honest. So. I think I'm going to be okay with this. I'm not going to eat too much. The goal will be to spread this fruit out throughout the day. Um, I've got an ant on my camera. One second. <laughs> um, I'm going to spread this out throughout the day. I'm probably going to have the watermelon pre-workout because watermelon contains citrulline. So a really good pre-workout is watermelon with some high quality sea salt. That is like one of the best pre-workouts you can do. Citrulline is good for blood flow, it's good for the pump. And yeah, spread this out through the day and then at dinner I will have a meal. There's also a few other activity things that I'm gonna go into, but um, I've got a lot to do. Now technically these are not my first calories of the day because I had some milk in my coffee, but here we have some watermelon, 440 grams, which is about 100 and 32 calories. Now I'm just going to put some salt on this and this is essentially my pre-workout. This is going to help massively and there's not really that many calories in there. All right guys, it is International Chest Day aka Monday. So we're gonna be starting with a cheeky push session, excuse me. And I always start off my push sessions with incline barbell bench press, or sometimes I do dumbbells, but last time I did dumbbells, so we're doing barbell this time. And I'm just not really warming up because it is so hot today. It's like, I don't know over 35 degrees and ridiculously humid so i don't need to warm up but what i'm doing right now is just a few reps just to get that mind muscle connection so i'll probably just put a 20 on either side and do some more warm-up reps i'm still recovering from my illness. I'm feeling pretty good today, but I just have a bit of a sniffly nose, so I'm not gonna hit it super hard. Also, my goal right now is fat loss. I'm gonna mean a calorie deficit, so whenever I'm a deficit, I don't like to push too hard with my training. 
Yeah, nice. So I'm still looking a little bit soft. I'm a hundred, 103. I reckon we get down to about 86, 96, sorry. All right, set one. Only got 80 kg on the bar. Nice set of 15. Okay, set two. only got nine reps then so what I'm gonna do now is drop the weight down to 70 kg for the next set like today's a really busy day for me I got a lot on and like before I came to the gym I wasn't like I wouldn't say anxious but I felt quite stressed because I had like a lot of things in my head and already I've just done a few sets and my mind is so much more at ease now like honestly I think the gym for me is like a form of therapy. Like the days where I have to take a rest day and don't get to go to the gym is, I just don't like it. Which is why I like to train most days and I'll pretty much take a rest day on a Sunday when typically I do less work than any other day. I'll still do work on a Sunday, but it's not like a Monday, for example. So that's why I like to train so frequently. <clears throat> Even if it is, is suboptimal from like a gains point of view, it's just better for my mind, you know? It just helps me think clearer. It helps me just be calmer and I just enjoy it. And it's a nice break from doing work or being sat at a desk or, you know, spending time on the phone. All right, set three. So I put it down to 70 kg because I only got nine reps on that last set. <laughs> oh, I nearly went then. Oh my God. Oh, Oof. good set. Okay, set one. reason why I like this machine is it's a it's a slight I would say if anything it's a slight decline so I've already done like an incline 
barbell bench press, right? So I'm not gonna do an incline press machine because it's too similar. I want a little bit more variety. So this is why I like this one. I get a really good contraction. Like when you go to a gym, try the machines and you'll just find some of them work better for you than others because machines are fixed. Some machines you, you might just not vibe with, but other ones you will. And I just stick to them, to be honest. Set two. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay, set three. I've actually dropped the weight down by 10 kg on each side because first set I just got 10 and second set I think was nine. And I like to do a few more reps if possible. Okay, so exercise number three. We've done two pressing movements. Now I really want to do a fly to get a good stretch on the chest. So we're doing pec deck. Pec deck is going to be one of the most underrated chest exercises. Set two. Okay, set three. Oh, that's me done. Sometimes what I like to do on this exercise is just, I'm not resting the weight right now. I'm letting it stretch my chest out. It feels so good, after, particularly after I've trained chest, just to use the weight to stretch it out at the end. I wouldn't do this like, if you've not finished training your chest yet. Oh. Okay, I don't have much time, because I gotta do some stuff after this, so. I'm not gonna even do shoulders today. I'm just gonna do one exercise for tricep and then that's, that's four exercises in total. I'm not really bothered about shoulders because 
I don't really want my shoulders to get any bigger. I would rather have a bigger chest and bigger arms because I think it looks more aesthetic. So we're doing overhead tricep rope extension. It's one of the best exercises for triceps in my opinion because I'm already getting a good stretch in the starting position. Okay, I might need to go a little bit heavier. So whenever you're doing some kind of tricep extension, whether it's like this or overhead, you really want to try and keep this part of your arm still so it's just this kind of movement. If this is moving, the weight is too heavy. You want this part to be fixed and just this moves and that way you isolate your tricep. All right, so that is four exercises done. Like the sweet spots for me is four to six exercises, three for chest, one for tricep. I'm gonna have an arm day later on in the week, so I'm good with just doing one tricep, tricep exercise. And three for chest, I'll leave my shoulders. Maybe I'll train them later on in the week, but realistically with how they're looking right now, I might just not train them for a while because I want to bring I want to bring my upper chest up and just my arms. I think they need more work, to be honest. Anyway, I got somewhere to be. That's a 42 minute workout, done. Just got back and I am absolutely cooked. So after the gym, I went to the sauna. <clears throat> I did 30 minutes in the infrared sauna and then about five minutes in the normal dry sauna afterwards. Oh my God, that shit fucked me up. And then I just lay by the grass for a bit. So I just weighed myself and I'm 100.6 and I was 103 this morning. So I've lost 2.4 kg. Now, is any of that fat? No, of course not. That's just all water because I'm training outside. It's hot, I'm on my bike, I'm sweating and obviously I've been in the sauna sweating. Um, but the reason I'm talking about this is because you don't just want to rely on the scale alone because this, your scale weight is going to fluctuate up and down. That's why it's really important to weigh yourself every single day and take an average. And also why it's important to not always rely on the scale, but also look in the mirror and um, take progress photos. Okay, now it's time for my post-workout meal. Are you ready? I am having the papaya. I'm probably gonna have about 400 grams of this. I'm just gonna track it first to make sure I don't have too much, but I'm just gonna eat most of this probably depends on the calories. The reason I'm opting for this post-workout is because out of the three fruits I've got, 
this one has got the highest carbohydrate content so especially post-workout I'm probably going to be the most um, insulin sensitive so if the best time to have carbs realistically is pre or post-workout you kind of want if you want to optimize for physical performance then it's a good idea to have the majority of your carbs around your workout some pre some post so I'm gonna put a bit of salt on here and then you just spoon this bad boy out like this yeah that's good mmm It is just gone quarter past seven and I'm having my first proper meal. So obviously I've had all that fruit that I showed you earlier, which came to about 530 calories. So that was a pretty good guess where I said 500 calories, okay? And it's been pretty easy. Obviously I've been busy all day. I've done, I trained my client, I've trained, I've walked on the beach. And it's not felt that difficult at all, but right now I am absolutely starving. So this is what we've got. 300 and something grams of ribeye. I can't remember, I did write it down. And two beef patties. Now I would like to eat a lot more than this, but to be honest, this is like my favorite meal. 339 grams for the ribeye. Uh, 270 grams for the beef patties which brings the total calories for 1,990 so the goal is to stay on the 2,000 calories and do two hours of walking every single day now I've only done an hour walking today so far so I might go for a walk after this but I've got a lot of stuff to do Protein, 145 grams, pretty low. To be honest, I'd like that to be higher. Fats, 100. Carbs, 135. So, yeah, I am absolutely starving. So I'm going to eat this now. Bye.